Congress, or at least the House, passed some, some bill. I don't know what the Senate's done with it, if anything. Basically saying that uh, the Secret Service needs to give Trump and other protectees, uh, such as Kamala Harris and, and Waltz and J.D. Vance, uh, security commensurate with the president. And that vote was 405 to nothing, which to me is a bipartisan vote of no confidence in the Secret Service. You have the regime and all of its allies out there uh, denigrating Trump, using vicious language against Trump uh, as the Secret Service gets exposed time and time again as failing to provide basic security measures. There was another hearing earlier this week, or a, a one hearing earlier this week, and uh, you know, it was just more of the same in terms of uh, disclosing further Secret Service failures. Failures which have been evident to virtually everyone watching what happened in Butler back on July 13th. And then obviously the more recent assassination attempt. You know, the snipers failed to do what they were supposed to do. I mean, thank God one of them took the guy out, but it was after he was able to get off several shots. Nearly kill Trump, mortally wound someone else, and wound two others. And in the meantime, Trump is being targeted with assassination by the Iranians. Even the Biden administration's been forced to admit that. And then it's reported the Biden administration is still denying Trump certain Secret Service protections. He can't do a big rally in Wisconsin. It's been reported first by Susan Crabtree because the Secret Service didn't have the necessary support. Election interference by Biden's Secret Service. It's terribly politicized. And I talked about some of these issues on Fox News. Let's, let's run that. I was on with... I want to begin with a slightly emotional take on what is happening and where we are. This well, actually, is Melania I, I, Trump, the former me, first lady. The uh, she posted I this I on hear. X. I want you to listen to this carefully the and then get your reaction on the other side. So I'll be quiet. The attempt to end my husband's <laughs> life was a I'm horrible, distressing experience. Now, the silence around it feels heavy. I can't help but wonder why didn't law enforcement officials arrest the shooter before the speech? There is definitely more to this story, and we need to uncover the truth. There have been those who have been critical, saying by suggesting that there is more to the story, by even making the idea that we need to uncover something, almost lends itself to, as some critics have suggested, conspiracy theories. But to me, this humanizes this story. This is real life, real people, real families, and I think she makes a very strong point. What do you think? <clears throat> well, her husband was almost murdered. Yeah. A man was murdered, two others severely injured. That's right. The country traumatized. Yeah. And uh, the Secret Service, certainly under President Biden, has a demonstrated record of politicizing its protective decisions. Mm. Robert F. Kennedy denied uh, uh, protection and only given protection after Trump was nearly killed. President Trump asked for additional support. It was denied. The Secret Service lied about those denials. Yep. Uh, so these are all fair questions, and, uh, and here we have this report being issued today, and the title of it should be Mistakes Were Made, you know, and it's written in the passive voice. Yeah. There's, not little, there's, there's not much accountability in any of it, and much of it is news we already know right. based on disclosures by local police and what has been before everyone's eyes that they really blew it. I'm really glad that you said what you said about this idea that, look, there are questions that demand answers, and there's no wrong answer here in terms of asking what well, happened here, what happened with that, what happened Melania with this. I think she's well within her right. Lady, be, Very quickly, 30 seconds or so news. left, I want to share this headline. Secret Service, DHS sued over first Trump assassination attempt in a lawsuit filed Thursday. America First Legal, AFL, alleges that the Secret Service America and DHS illegally concealed government lead? records related to the attempted assassination in Butler, Pennsylvania on 13 July. According to AFL, the I Secret Service said it would there. not there process there. their expedited public records requests because there was no threat to the life or safety of anyone. 
and that there was no urgency to grant their request. I know 30 seconds is not nearly enough time to get you to take a full swing at this, but I just had to get your thoughts about that. Well, it is an emergency, obviously. Indeed. Obviously, they condemn themselves by making that statement. We sued two weeks ago for documents. Yeah. Give us documents about your denials of security to Trump. Uh, They're making up every reason under the sun uh, to stonewall all investigators, not just in Florida, but in Congress and Judicial Watch. They haven't released the Secret Service or FBI, as best as I can understand it, Mm -hmm. not one document under FOIA in the two months since the shooting. Two whole months, and they still haven't done their job. And this is really interesting, and I think it, it, in my opinion, it raises a bunch of new questions, actually, in particular as we move forward. Tommy, great to see you, my friend. We'll have you. you back. Kevin did a great job, uh, great interview, and uh, it shows you how important Judicial Watch's work is. Uh, There are, there is a massive stone wall right now by the FBI and and, and Secret Service, so the Justice Department is a creature of the FBI, excuse me, the FBI is a creature of the Justice Department, Uh, it's the opposite, on the Trump assassination attempt. Zero, zero uh, documents have been released under the Freedom of Information Act, as I noted. And we've got litigation, we have other lawsuits that uh, we're pursuing or likely to file soon. And there's stonewalling Congress, too, so it's not like Congress is able to get information separately. And the only reason anything's coming out is because whistleblowers are so fed up with what's happening. Of course, the Justice Department refused to give us any documents about the first assassination attempt, was quick to release, um, and I'm not going to share the contents of the letter, but you've probably seen about it in the news, uh, the fact that the guy who nearly killed Trump down in, uh, in, in Florida had a letter suggesting that there was a bounty on Trump's head. I mean, what worst way than to, uh, what, what, what a terrible way to encourage for the Justice Department, not the, I mean, we know the bad guy, what he wants to do, but the Justice Department to publish this? What was the purpose for it? Other than, then, in my view, to incite violence. Look at this Kamala Harris supporter, current cabinet minister, I should say, member, uh, what she said on the boob tube the other day. Rhode Island would be protected. That's real protection, stepping up and leading. You know, what he says is the opposite. It's just another lie. Like, how did we get here? Let's extinguish him for good. We have an answer. We have a remarkably talented. They know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Frankly, that person should resign, subject to be subject to criminal investigation, at least the Secret Service investigation. But the Secret Service is a disaster, so I'm sure she would even fear that. I, I fear for President Trump's safety. The Secret Service is a disaster. I mean, there were reports this week there was a uniformed agent who shot himself in the foot. Another agent was accused of getting drunk out of his mind and assaulting, I think, at least one member of the Harris campaign. Some of the basics weren't done on, in, up in Butler that are just astonishing to hear about You, when you go back and look at some of the uh, additional details of this congressional hearing. I mean, basic security 101 in terms of coordination and cooperation between multiple agencies. And as I said, and then Trump is now still being denied full Secret Service protection. You know, the Congress, or at least the House, passed some some bill, I don't know what the Senate's done with it, if anything, basically saying that uh, the Secret Service needs to give Trump and other protectees, uh, such as Kamala Harris and and Waltz and J.D. Vance, uh, security commensurate with the president. And that vote was 405 to nothing, which to me is a bipartisan vote of no confidence in the Secret Service. Because the Secret Service kept on saying, oh, no, we've got it covered. We've, we're giving them everything we can. Not one politician believes them. 
<laughs> here in Washington, D.C. That's pretty darn unusual. So this concern I'm raising isn't just for I'm concerned about President Trump. I am, obviously. He's the number one target. And I do think there are people in the Biden administration who are happy to inflame the situation in a way that puts his life at risk. We just saw that. But the Secret Service as an agency is just keystone cops in some respects, or in the key respect of providing Secret Service protection, security for their protectees. I think there are 40 people that they protect. And so members of both parties are wondering, quite rightly, if they can do the job. And do they trust them to be forthcoming? And no one does, no one does. So for the first time in a long time, the Secret Service really has few defenders in this town. But is it gonna result in reform? Probably not, unless there's pressure from you and pressure from outsiders such as Judicial Watch, demanding answers, demanding the truth, demanding documents, as opposed to relying on press statements and leaks to the media. And in the meantime, President Trump's life is at risk. I mean, let's be blunt. I'm concerned that Trump is going to get killed because of the Secret Service failures. I, I'm terribly concerned about it. And I've been, a, I've been of the position that the Secret Service has been weak in terms of protection for years now. And Judicial Watch has been second to none in exposing uh, the crazed fanaticism for DEI at the Secret Service where it's just woke politics and racialism and, dis and, and division. The abuse of Secret Service agents by the protectees such as Biden allowing his dog to attack agents. The hiring standards suffering, the politics of wokeism taking precedence over protection. And lives are being put at risk. And Trump was nearly killed. You saw that Melania is upset about it, and she's right to be Melania Trump. And so Judicial Watch, we ain't going to move on. We are not going to move on from this. So more lawsuits coming, more FOIAs to come as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.